I'm here at um, Czech Games Edition um, and we have a brand new sample here of the new game SETI. SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, that's right. We're using 20th century, 21st century technology to explore our own solar system and also look at, gather signals and data from our nearest stars to find exoplanets and signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. Cool. Is this a final design of the product or will it change? This is very close to being the final game. There are a few more tweaks and some of the artwork is yet to be finished. But most of what you see here is representative of what will be in the game that launches in October. At Essen? At Essen? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah. How is the gameplay? What, what are the game players doing? Players are taking turns mm -hmm. during which they perform one action each turn okay. to further the exploration for extraterrestrial intelligence. Okay. They might be sending out probes, sending out ships from Earth, traveling around the solar system and visiting the planets. Mm -hmm. They might be putting their probe into orbit around the planet to gain victory points and some income. Or they might be landing their probes, they might be landing their probes on the planet okay. to find those traces of alien life. Okay. Yeah. Alternatively, players might be using their telescope array to examine the stars and gather signal, send out signals and gather data in order to, when they've collected enough data, find another trace of alien life, mm -hmm. which will ultimately unlock new alien species for the players to fully explore to gain big victory points. So there are aliens in the game? <laughs> signs, signs of alien life that may once have existed in our galaxy, yes. Okay. We're not going to actually meet the aliens, because I say this is all 21st century level technology. We're going to gather, we're going to get signals and hints of alien life so that we can say, yes, there was sign of intelligent life out there. Cool. What about the cards? They uh, look quite striking, um, quite beautiful. Yeah. The, the cards, and I agree, they're very pretty. Yeah. They're multi use cards. Mm -hmm. So players will have hands of cards that can be discarded for resources like red points of publicity which used for paying for something or points for probe movement around the galaxy alternatively players will from time to time be allowed to tuck this card underneath their income card to improve their end of round income okay. the third thing the cards do is players will sometimes discard cards to put down traces and gather signals from particular sectors of the galaxy. Mm -hmm. The fourth thing players can do with their cards is on their turn they could spend some of their credits to carry out the action on the card, okay. which is always a little bit better than the basic actions. What about the playing time? How long is the game? The game takes about 40 minutes per player once the players have learned the game. Okay. It will take a little bit longer on your very first game. Okay. And the player count? With two to four. Two, two to four. four. Yes. We're still tweaking the rules for two and three players to make sure it works as well as the four player game. Great. And it's the first game by Thomas Scholleck? Um, it is, yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know, Thomas. <laughs> okay. So I can't help you with yeah. what sort of games he normally likes, mm -hmm. what sort of design he's been working on. Okay. This one runs very smoothly. Yeah. And it looks very great. So, yeah. Um, all these pieces will be made from... All these pieces will be made from CGE's ReWood. Have you heard about that? It's where we use uh, recycled wood and a little bit of binder to make pieces that look like plastic, or as detailed as plastic, but have a lower environmental footprint. Yeah, that's that's great too. Yeah, so you don't have to use um, large uh, wood meeples or plastic meeples. They're so not, it's they're not plastic. They're recycled. Yeah. Wood. yeah. Yes. So you have the advantages um, of plastic because you can um, design it very intricate. Design, yes. Yeah. 
quite an old, nice design. It's like intricate pieces, like our little data that we collect, all got little noughts and ones. Mm -hmm. And the players will collect this from planets, but particularly from their radio telescopes. And then during the game, they'll use this data to gather bonuses. But when they've collected enough data, they can process the data using their computers to find more traces of that alien intelligence. Okay. So um, we'll see the game in Essen and it will be available at Essen? It should be, yes. Yes. Okay. So for all German viewers, they can... They could look up to uh, look, yeah. Yep, it will be on sale at our stall in S. Yes. That's great. And will there be a German edition too? Yes. Oh. Sure. This year also. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.